G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back for another episode of Space Survival. So, in today's episode, I want to get my little mining ship finished, and take it over to the moon, and yeah, give it a bit of a dry run. Iron out any issues we encounter, but yeah, there are a few issues I've got to deal with. Um, now, obviously, with most of my mining ships, I like to have ejectors, so I can get rid of all that pesky stone, so... Yeah, I'm going to need to put ejectors somewhere on this ship. But the main issue I've got is... Okay, normally my ships would be orientated that way. And, you know, they would kind of tilt down a little bit, drill into the ground, and then, yeah, go after the ore. And then what I would do is put all my ejectors on the bottom, and then all of the ore would kind of fall out. But the problem is that because this ship is vertical, if I put ejectors here or basically anywhere, what's going to happen is the little stones are going to fall all the way down and go straight back into the drills. So that's going to be an issue. So it means that even though I've got ejectors, I'm not really going to be doing anything because all of the stone is just going to end up in the path of the drills anyway. So, and even if... Even if I let them all, like, stop the drilling ship, stop drilling, let all the stone drain out, when I go to drill um, the ore patch again, it's just going to pick all that stone up all over again and repeat the process. But there is a way to get around that, and I'll show you exactly what that entails. Alright guys, so here we are in the settings for the world, and if we have a look here at the setting max objects, this this is obviously under advanced settings um, yeah this is the setting I want to play around with what this means is that it will only spawn 34 like little rocks of ore as they're coming out of the um, the ejectors well now they're called connectors because they changed them in the last update but you, you guys get what I mean so yeah this was set to a hundred and I think that would have resulted in way too much stone ending up back in front of the drills and I mean hopefully I'm wrong and when you do mine those little stones they just get destroyed um, but I don't think that is the case I'm pretty sure the drills pick them up okay so now that we've kind of resolved our ejector issue we still have the issue of actually figuring out where I want to put them um, is that connected to anything no it's not I guess could I put them here maybe Let's see if I can grab one. Here we go. Finally found it. It's a small connector apparently. So, I don't know if putting it there would actually work. Um, I have doubts. I could put them there and then just let the stones drop from the very top. Um, and then just run that conveyor there over to here. And then we'll have like... How many should I put in here? I would like to put eight, so we eject the maximum amount of stone. So every ejection we get eight stones um, all the way around the ship. Although, can I put some here? Yeah, I can. So we get, yeah, eight little rocks ejected each time. Uh, so four ejections is 32. So hopefully that'll mean they'll start to disappear once they get to about this point. But... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so here's the plan. Let's get rid of these. And then we're going to put our ejectors. Uh, no, not that block. This block. We're going to put our ejectors here like this. Um, or our small connectors, I should say. Um, maybe I should test this out in creative. I don't think I'm going to get any clang. I really don't think I'm going to get clang, but... I'm going to build it and then I'll test it. Probably a bad idea, but yeah, we'll do it anyway. Okay, so in order to get this to work, we're going to need to do the following. So we're going to grab a conveyor sorter. Uh, conveyor cap, no. Where's my conveyor sorter? All right, so we want our conveyor sorter. We want the arrows in the outwards direction. So we'll place one there. And I've got this one drilled out as well. So we'll place another right there. And we'll weld both of these up. Oh, man. It looks like I'm out of metal grids. 
So I'm going to have to do some iron mining before I can continue. Well, I guess one good thing about spending several episodes building one ship is your batteries have time to charge. So every single battery I have on the base and throughout is now charged. So might be a good idea at this point to install some more batteries on maybe the ship or possibly the base. In fact, I'm probably going to refrain from doing that on the base mainly because of the fact that I don't intend this to be my final home. I don't like the fact that it's in 0.07 gravity. Um, it does make things tricky, especially when you're trying to build. If you accidentally remove it from your anchoring, then you know whatever you're trying to build just falls down to the planet and you kind of there's nothing you can do about it. So yeah, I don't want to build really any stuff on the base that I can't get rid of and batteries you can't retrieve the power modules from them so yeah not going to bother building any more batteries for the base instead I'll put them on this ship or the other one all right let's uh, do some mining well we've made away with about 180,000 worth of iron so hopefully that well it'll be enough to get this small grid done done but um, yeah hopefully it'll be enough for a fair while I guess we'll see what happens be careful not to hit my other ships here. Uh, I honestly think the platinum that we picked up from Mars is still refining. I'm pretty sure like most of it is still there. Would be interesting to know how far it is along though. All right cool now we're back at base. Let's get this stuff refined. I think I might have to change the order of the queue though. Let's just have a look. Uh, seems like we've got stone there, which... Oh man, I could have just refined this stone and got the iron that I needed to get those metal grids done. Oh well, doesn't really matter. I am inter interested though, how much platinum do we actually... Yeah, so... <laughs> I think we had 90,000 and we still got like 63,000 plus like another... Yeah. So... <laughs> we still got 90,000. <laughs> Has it actually refined anything? What? Alright, let's get rid of all this platinum and replace that with iron. So I'm going to put the iron in front of the platinum. When you do that, it selects the iron, like the refineries will grab the iron before the platinum. If I put the platinum first in the cargo container, then it will grab the platinum instead. I think stone is the only one that does funky stuff, but yeah, that's generally how it works. Alright, cool. Let's wait till that's done. Well, actually, no, I don't need to wait. I should have enough iron to get um, the things that I want to done. Alright, let's go withdraw the components. They should still be on the build planner, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. So, as I was saying, we're going to put in our two conveyor sorters. Um, and then from there, I'm going to put in probably an armored conveyor corner. Um, just because it's so close to the edge. And it's, you know, if something is going to attack this thing, then that's where it's going to attack from. Oh, wait, that's a T-junction. I want this one. Yeah, there we go. So we want it like that. Let's place that there. And then just spin it around and place it on the same place there. Like that. And probably should have grabbed the components for those things too. And while we're here, um, let's go to the build planner. Find our small connector. Uh, small connector. I'll have two of them. Thank you. Oh, looks like I grabbed a cargo container too. Ah oh, well, that's fine. Then we'll put our two connectors down. Maybe I might, actually, I'm being pedantic here, but I'm going to make them even. <laughs> yeah, that bit, it's, it's got to be right, okay? It just has to be. Okay, let's jump in the cockpit. Let's find our sorters. And what we're going to do is we're going to set these things to whitelist stone. So we'll go filter mode, whitelist, and we shall find ourselves stone. All right, there we go. So I've set them both to stone. Um, we'll set them to drain all, I guess. Yep, that's what we want to do. So what what that means is that it will only 
allow stone through those. Everything else will be on the blacklist, if that makes sense. So, yeah, otherwise what you could do is you could do the opposite and add everything except for stone. Um, but, yeah, that, no, that would just be stupid. So, um, okay, now we want to find our little small, um, small connectors, I think they were called. So we've got our small connectors here. Um, I'm going to get rid of those so we won't bother changing settings on those. Um, and I want to set throw out to on. Uh, strength. I'll set that to zero because I'm not going to use them as connectors and I don't want them grabbing any connectors. So, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So that should hopefully sort out our stone problem. But like I said, I'll get this built. Um, I'll get all these thrusters done. I need to put an antenna on this thing as well. Um, and then after I've done all that, I'll take it into creative and we'll see how good it works. Although I need to remember to adjust the settings to the same settings as this world on the creative world. Otherwise my testing is going to be flawed. Okay, so I've got my ejectors installed and it's looking pretty good. So there's only really two things I need to do. No, three things. So the first thing is I need to add an ore detector to this thing. Um, so let's find one on the hotbar. And I'll probably put it right down at the base here somewhere. Um, actually, it's quite big. Hmm. Where am I going to put this thing? I suppose I could just put one here. I know it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, but... Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. So yeah, okay. On this side here, I'll put the ore detector. And on the other side, I'll put the antenna. Cool. There we go. So we have our antenna and our ore detector. Um, I put it at the front of the ship. Well, I mean the top of the ship, technically. <laughs> oh man, this layout's so weird. Um, okay, so the last thing we need to do is fill this thing full of fuel. Um, so, I guess there's like a couple of ways I could do it. Um, one way is I could build a conveyor system with some sort of piston and a connector to get to that connector and transfer fuel that way. Or I could use the respawn pod with the landing gear to take this over to this connector here. Um, I'm not sure if I really want to risk that way. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to build some sort of a piston arrangement. So <laughs> we'll just go for that. Um, I suppose both methods would be about as hard Energy as each other. Low. Oh wait, I went way too far. I forget this is large grid, and we can actually go very far very quickly. Um, okay, so I'm probably going to go one block back from that. Go down, then out, and then probably this way. And then... Am I going to need a piston in that direction as well? Oh, I think I might be able to get away with a hinge. I don't know though. Oh, this kind of modifies the arrangement a little bit. So we're going to have to get rid of all this stuff. Um, and probably put in a piston. So, is that going to be big enough though? That's the question. Let's place it down. How far do we have to go? Uh, no, that's too far. So I need to get rid of it and get rid of the conveyor behind it. And put the piston there. There we go. Piston Energy is down. Critical. Now we'll grab a conveyor and go downwards. And like I said before, we'll have to go across like that. There we go. Now we can put in another piston. Like so. And then put a connector on the end of that and pray that it fits. And it does. Now all we have to do is change the settings. So I think uh, it's a bit low. Seriously, I'm going to need a piston in that direction as well. Uh, okay, that changes things a little bit more once again. Okay, yeah, now nah, this is getting old really fast. I'm not going to bother with all this. Uh, three pistons welding up all this stuff. Uh, nah, 
not doing it, not doing it, not doing it. So instead, I am going to grind away this connector here. Inventory full. Uh, but of course, my inventory is full. Do I have a cargo container nearby? Uh, yes, I do. Cool. Uh, let's get rid of this connector. And what I basically want to do is just place down a conveyor junction. Uh, oh, of course. And then in on top of that, put the connector so it's like kind of spaced out so the ship has enough room. Because I don't think I can get the ship too close to... Yeah, I, I don't think there's enough... Uh, yeah, I think it's too close, the connector. Um, and I think it will hit the exterior of the ship before it will even touch the connector, if that makes sense. Man, that took so long to get out. Alright, there we go. So that's done. Um, now i just got to put a landing gear on the respawn pod. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll grab the materials for one. Okay, do I have enough room to put a landing gear on when the thing is here? If I can... Oh, man. I really need to sort out my hotbar a little bit here. Alright, yeah, it looks like I can't put it here. So I'm going to probably have to lift the ship up off the ground to be able to place it down. Well, lucky I went ahead and checked the inventory of this ship before I set sails. <laughs> so it seems like it is totally full with ore. So yeah, 42,000 kilos, uh, 21,000 kilos, another 42,000 kilos. Yeah, and we're trying to move a ship. So always check the inventory before you head off. Um... Yeah, and you guys know that I don't take my own advice, right? Alright, so now that the ship is empty, it is um, considerably more nimble. Uh, now, let's go ahead and put the landing gear on the bottom. Well, it looks a little bit funny, and it is um, kind of sideways, but it'll work. It'll do. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on auto lock. That's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure this ship is able to lift the other one. I don't think there's any issues there. Um, the tricky part is going to be holding this thing right next to that connector to get the other ship connected. And hopefully it doesn't get too close to those conveyors. This is so close. Um, look how close I am to the other ship. That's just ridiculous. Can I get any closer? I think I can. Now let's tilt down, level out a bit, and then just creep down a tiny bit. How am I going for alignment that way? Yeah. Can I lock on? Come on, let me lock on. There we go. I am locked on. Okay, so now... Uh, let's go ahead... And grind away th these blocks here. So this one... And this one here. That one... And that one. And are we lifting? Well, the ship's not going anywhere, so... I think we have success. I'm going to get rid of these blocks just so I don't crash into them. There we go. Alright, let's uh, take this over to the connector. Alright, here we go. So, let's try to be careful about this. Try being the uh, key word here. This thing does have a lot of thrust upwards, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, let's go this way. I think... I'm just trying to remember what angle I picked the ship up at. It's probably something like that, wasn't it? Right, let's get this aligned. I think that's reasonable. Go back a little bit. Looks like we're going to clear the uh, conveyors, which is nice. Let's go down a little bit more, and should just be 
able to move straight over and actually because I'm on an angle I'm going to move backwards when I do that aren't I? And I think I went too far down okay so Clang please don't um yeah please don't hurt me uh, let me quickly lock this down thank goodness for this mod alright so switch lock and hopefully my respawn pod is not going to give me grief which I don't think it will uh, alright now I've just got to disconnect the landing gear and park this back up Alright, so, this is parked up back at base, um, I know I probably could have just parked it on the ground, but I like the idea of it, um, being connected to the base for, like, charging and things like that. Actually, I might turn the thrusters off, ah, it doesn't really matter. Um, also, while I was away, what I went ahead and done was, um, turn these two refineries on with the speed modules. Since every single battery everywhere is kind of full, then yeah i figure why not you know um unfortunately i didn't really get time to build some more batteries before the sun kind of disappeared so yeah i think we're just gonna have to be kind of stuck with what we've got um the good thing is though that everything is 100 percent charged and i only really want to do an expedition to the moon so we're all good oh look at that all the thrusters are turned on well at least i know m that my plumbing job was good uh well except for there Hmm. Gonna have to figure out what I did wrong there, but it looks like everything else is good to go. Yeah, so I must have messed up those conveyor junctions there. Which way are they actually going? Can I get in there and have a look? I think I might be able to have a look from here. Um, they look like they're going the right way. So then why is it not working? Is this maybe off? No, it's on. Okay. Well, I have to figure that out later. But what I will do right now is let's go into the cockpit here. Let's find our hydrogen tanks. Grab these two. And I am going to set these to stockpile. And then they're just going to fill up from all of the hydrogen that's available in the mothership. So, I probably should have figured out how much fuel was in that beforehand. I don't think I'm going to take that much, really. But, we're going to the moon, so I can get some more ice and I can get some more fuel anyway. So, it's not really a big deal. Okay. Um, now, one other thing I wanted to mention was somebody said um, I should probably put an oxygen tank on this thing. And, uh, yeah, I probably should have thought of that beforehand because um, now it's kind of too late. So, yeah, no, nah, just going to have to rock without one um but we do have an o2 h2 generator so as long as i have a little bit of ice um i should be all right and i'm not sure if you can store bottles in these things um can you store bottles in the cockpit you know worst case scenario we, we can always use a bottle um so yeah we can do that because we've got big o2 h2 generators here and i does this ship have an oxygen tank that's a good question I don't remember seeing one. Oh wait, yeah, no, it does. It's got some here at the... Is that the front or the back? The front, yeah, front. Um, yeah, so... Oh yeah, also, another thing. Somebody asked me in the comments, are these wheels here for decorat decorative purposes? Um, well, yes, they are, and they're supposed to look like that. Inventory full. Um, Inventory full. Yes, I know my inventory Inventory full. full. Yeah, so... That's essentially what they're supposed to look like, um, at least according to the blueprint, um, or according to the screenshots on the Steam Workshop. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've finished all the thrusters that were incomplete. Um, I still need to finish some of the armor blocks in between, but that's alright, I'll do that later. Uh, although I have found a critical flaw in my plan here, and <laughs> as you can see, I have a very large hydrogen thruster right next to my ship so yeah that's not really going to work out too well uh, so I've got to find a new home for it I think 
what I'm going to do is just slap a connector right here. So let's go ahead, withdraw the components for that, install it, and then go ahead and move the ship over to that connector. All right, so I got my second connector built. Let's go Energy ahead and move this low. ship over. Uh, let's jump in the cockpit here and hope that it actually flies. Uh, one thing I've got to do, though, is just make sure that the tanks aren't still on stockpile, which they are. So, yeah, no, that's uh, <laughs> really not a good thing. All right, let's disconnect it. All right, there we go. Now we're free. Alright, so let's just, uh, I guess, move over to the next one. Now, the ship should be relatively straight, so I should just be able to go straight across. And then straight over to it. Yep, there we go. And then just go straight back. The only problem is now, I'm quite close to that gun that's right next to me so that's a little bit of an issue but I think it's less of an issue than yeah where I was before because I was for sure gonna get burnt up by that thruster easily so I think I'm gonna grind this down and then just yeah countersink the connector again like it was before all right, there we go. So, um, the next thing I would like to do is just turn off the thrusters on this thing. So I'm gonna have to make a group for them. Um, but I think what I'll do to do that, make it a little bit easier for myself, is just kind of disconnect it from the ship. And then, yeah, it's just easier to find everything. So let's put the thrusters all in one single group. Well, apparently, according to that, it says that I have a couple of thrusters that are incomplete. So I'm going to have to find those. Um, all right. That's interesting. I can't see any that are actually incomplete. Well, I found out where they were. They're on the side here of the ship. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it said that they were up. I totally forgot about the fact that the cockpit is orientated that way instead of this way so yeah that's where they ended up being right so i think that is everything done um but of course because i've added that thruster i'm going to need to modify that group to include that new one cool there we go that's done um now all we need to do is dock it up again and i think we're good to go i do need to set up the hot bar but i guess we can do that once we get to our destination um okay speaking of which um ooh, let's just have a look do i have any other groups that are named all thrusters no i don't think i do all right let's turn that off and then see what happens so it only turns off the engines for this ship here and none of the other ones well if these were off they would turn back on if that makes sense so yeah I think we're all good um, <clears throat> that's one of the problems with naming groups the same thing um, normally what I would do is I would actually name the group with the uh, name of the ship but I haven't really come up with a name for this ship yet so yeah there's that um, another thing what I would like to do is grind back this ore detector whoops i ground down the cargo antenna um get rid of the block behind it and same with the antenna and actually countersink them um that way the only thing that's showing is like yeah the business end of those blocks there we go yeah i think that looks so much neater than what it did before yeah i'm really happy with that um yeah so it's done okay now we can finally head to the moon one thing i would like to check though is how much fuel have we actually got what is this turret doing oh, i thought it was turning towards me i was like <laughs> no don't shoot me i'm the owner all right so we got 27 percent fuel yeah it's not too bad now the question is do i take the respawn pod as well I think I might. It is a useful ship, 
to have. Um, and we might as well have both. Uh, actually, do I really need it though? I've got... I've got a survival kit on this thing. Yeah, I'm going to take it anyway. It, it, it's probably a good idea, you know, with the amount that I run into things and die to have a secondary survival kit. So, yeah, let's uh, disconnect this and move it over to the Prometheus. All right, well, the respawn pod is locked down, but, um, yeah, one thing I was thinking about this time is, well, last time I took this thing out, I didn't really have enough resources, so I'm just going to have a look and see what I've got. Um, but I think what I do need to do is grab some more silicon. So uh, we'll grab the respawn pod and we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, well, I've got a cargo hold full of silicon, so we're good to go on that front. I think what I'm going to do, though, is um, move the silicon to the front of the queue on the refineries, much like I did with the iron before. And, um, yeah, because I only really want to take ingots with me to the moon. I don't really want to mess around with, um, yeah, unrefined ores and things like that. Okay, so I've actually been gone for quite a while. I decided to wait until the sun came up, at least um, until I can get it to, yeah. It's so it's sunny where I land on the moon. And yeah, I kind of wanted the power as well. Also, while I was gone, what I went ahead and done is installed some extra batteries. So I've got like, I think it's, yeah, 10 extra batteries. I think I put another two somewhere else. So yeah, this thing now has about 20 batteries. So yeah, that should be pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is quickly just turn them all to recharge and get as much power as I possibly can into those and then we should be able to head off. Okay, so the batteries are fully charged. Um, in fact, yeah, so the batteries are fully charged here. The batteries on the base, on the other hand, are looking a little bit sad, but that's all right. They should probably be charged by the time I get back. So yeah, everything is looking pretty good. So we went from eight batteries stock on this thing, and I think I put an additional two on, so we had 10 to 20. So yeah, I've added an additional 10. Oh no, sorry, we had 12. So I've added an additional eight, so yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's um, now. Unfortunately, I don't have a jump point for the moon because I, yeah, I was supposed to create it last time, but of course, you know, kind of didn't do that. So yeah, probably just going to drift over there manually using hydrogen power. So all right, let's disconnect. And why isn't it not moving? Oh, that's right. Okay, so my thrusters are off. That's why it's not moving. All right. Let's start heading off. So what I'm going to do though is to try and avoid the gravity of the planet. I'm going to go probably straight ahead and then do like a bit of an L shape. So go straight out this way and then cut back across the moon like that way or cut across to the moon that way once I escape gravity. I don't want to burn too much fuel just kind of like keeping myself uh, floating above gravity if that makes sense let's turn off the front thrusters here cool the thrust is off on all the ships yep awesome all right let's head off all right well I'm about 60 kilometers away from the base so I think now I'm gonna turn and head straight to the moon well probably once I get past this asteroid at least Alright, let's uh, start turning now. And then hopefully we won't encounter too much gravity, but we'll see how we go. So yeah, the main reason why I'm trying to do it this way, is that an ice asteroid? It does look like it, doesn't it? Actually, you know what? I'm going to head to that and check it out, because if that's an ice asteroid, because it does have a really blue tinge to it, doesn't it? So if that's an ice asteroid, then I can set up a mining outpost there and get myself a whole bunch of fuel without having to worry about stone. And the best part is it's in zero G as well. 
Yeah, that definitely looks like a pure ice asteroid. That is insane. These don't come by very often, or at least... This is only the second one I think I've ever found in the game. So, yeah, this is a really good find. Alright, let's get a little bit closer. And I'm going to stop the ship and then mark it. Yeah, it looks pure ice. Okay, I think that should be close enough. Let's um, park the ship there and go and investigate and just confirm that it is actually a full ice asteroid. Man, this thing is huge too. Yep. I do not see any stone whatsoever. This would be the perfect culprit for a mining outpost. Because I was actually thinking about doing something on Europa. But now that I've come across this, I'm just going to use this instead. Because, I mean, you know, I'd be able to get as much ice here as I need. Well, all the ice that I would ever need from this asteroid as I would from uh, Europa. Alright, let's mark this thing down. Alright, awesome. So, we shall visit you in the future, lovely ice asteroid. Okay, now let's head off to the moon and go and get some gold. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll make a pit stop on the way back. Oh, yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is I did load this ship up with a whole bunch of components. Um, or a whole bunch of ores. So let's hide empty. Let's have a look here. So, yeah, I've got, you know, plenty of stuff. So I think we should be all right. And it looks like the refineries are still refining platinum. Ah, uh, that's okay. Um, how long are my batteries going to last if those things are still going? 11 days. <laughs> yeah, I think we should be okay for power. Alright, let's head off to the moon. Well, I decided I'm just going to jump the rest of the way. So, yeah. Now we're only 15 kilometers away from where we need to be. Alright, so let's roll and get the ship into kind of position so I'm going to slow it down a fair bit though I think I don't know if I really need to go like at an angle like an L-shaped trajectory like what I did to get here I think I should just be able to go straight down I think the thrusters are strong enough for that but I guess we'll see how we go are we in the gravity yet? no we're not so I might just turn my front thrusters off again just kind of glide in well, we're getting pretty close now. We're about 1,200 meters from the surface. Well, not really. About 1,400 meters from the surface, but yeah. So we're pretty close. I'm just trying to maintain, a, yeah, not a chaotic rate of speed, but a reasonable amount of speed, so that we don't crash into the ground. Where did I park last time? I might park down here. So let's um, level out. Go forward a little bit. And then just kind of thrust downwards. I think I might park in the middle of this blue ice patch here. Look at that, we have a gold deposit right there. Now let's make sure I'm level here. Now we are dead level. Okay, hopefully the ship doesn't sink because I've got these two other small grid ships connected to it. Oh, sorry. One of them is large grid technically, isn't it? Alright. Kiss her down ever so gently. And ready to lock, apparently. And we're locked down. Okay, let's turn off the engines. Cool. And we're good to go. Okay, so it looks like we have a gold deposit right there. The only problem is I need to find the point where I'm directly on top of it. So whereabouts is it? Looks like it's directly down there. Yeah, but that's the thing, it's mixed up with that ice signal, so I don't know if I drill straight down to that point if I'm going to end up exactly where the gold is, because sometimes I've ended up being 
about 50 meters away from the gold and yeah then I've got to try and drill sideways but with that ship it's going to be impossible to drill sideways so yeah maybe I might try and find another gold deposit that's kind of out there on its own and then I've got a better idea of exactly where it is all right well I found a gold deposit and it is next to a silver deposit so I think as long as I am dead level with the horizon so let's try and get ourselves dead level which we are now and I get and I look straight down and then I get my block where my cockpit is directly over this gold deposit that should hopefully be accurate enough so that we can just plunge straight down on top of it all right I'll create a GPS marker here I guess all right fantastic so I've created my GPS marker let's go grab the mining ship and see how it performs yeah, it is pretty far away from where my other ship is, but I think it should be fine because I only really need to do one mining trip. Oh, so what am I saying? Not one mining trip, but I only really need to mine and then come back once. Yep, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave the ship here. I don't really need to worry about it, um, yeah, charging or anything like that, because it was fully charged before I left, and I'm not really going to use it that much. So, okay, let's jump in this one and... Um, yeah, see how this goes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got to set up the hotbar, don't I? All right, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so um, we've got our connector. I'm going to remove that from the hotbar. So let's find our connector. Let's remove that. So the first thing, obviously, I'm going to have my drills. Um, yeah, so we'll put that on the hotbar. After that, I want to have all my thrusters. So what have we got? All thrusters. I'm pretty sure that was the group. So toggle block on and off. Now the other thing that I want to do is put the thrusters at the back. I want to put a group there so that I can turn those on and off. So let's create a group for those thrusters. And if we have a look in the menu, it will basically be the ones that say down. Uh, no, sorry, forward. Toggle block on and off. Okay, so that's our thrusters. Uh, next thing I want to do is what other thrusters would I like to turn off um, none really that's the only thrusters I think I would want to turn off all right so now I just need another group for my ejectors all right so we've got our ejectors on uh, the next thing I'm going to do is adjust the gyroscopes um, like a lot of um, people mentioned in the comments section of the last video you can just change the strength of these gyroscopes so that, you know, um, so we're going to change that to about 80%, I reckon. Uh, we'll, we'll type it in. Yep, 80%. Okay, fantastic. That should do. Uh, what else do I need to do? All right, well, I think I'm finally done messing around with the hotbar. I got everything on there that I think I need. Uh, ore detector, antenna, lights, connector, um, engines. Yeah, everything is there that I think I need. All right, let's disconnect and see how this thing goes. So it's got 97% fuel, so that should be fine. Um, man, this is so weird to drive. Um, I'm going to have to kind of spin around, though and then go over to there so <laughs> this is so trippy to drive it really is because everything is kind of like backwards or 90 degrees out i'm gonna make sure i don't slam into that actually <laughs> it's a zippy little thing too it's actually really fast question is how level am I oh that's right yeah the other thing I need on that um, on it is the camera I definitely need that camera now I do have the ore detector on here but it only has a range of like 250 meters so it's not going to be able to see that gold which is very unfortunate um, maybe I should grab the respawn pod and park it nearby so that I can use that data. 
Although the respawn pod doesn't have an antenna, so I'm not going to be able to see what the respawn pod can see anyway. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But I am going to need to see something. Um, Alright, yeah, I'm going to grab the respawn pod, grab the components, and then just like slap an antenna on it. I think that's going to be the best way to go. And then I can kind of aim the ship towards the, the ore deposit. Well, it looks really stupid, but it'll work. So let's move this over to where the other mining ship is, and then we can use this as a kind of like, yeah, large grid ore detector, I guess. Um, turn the engines on, the hydrogen thruster too. I am a little bit concerned about fuel though in the other mining ship, because when I was glancing at how much fuel we had left, we had 90%, um, and we had 97% I'm pretty sure when I left that ship over there. So we used like 7% fuel just getting over there, which is concerning to say the least. Um, so really am wondering if it's going to work out as well as I had hoped. Might have to just kind of abandon the whole idea and then do like a yeah, mining run with just this thing and using hand mining techniques. Uh, I really hope that's not the case though. Alright, let's park it there. That should do fine. Alright, let's open the doors. I want to see how much fuel this thing has used just sitting here. Oh, it's on an angle. A really big angle too. Where's the cockpit? Ah! Here we go. Um, so we use 4% fuel. Okay. Now, let's add the camera to the hotbar. Probably should have done that before. Oh, there we go. It's the first thing on the hotbar. So, we'll toggle that view. All right, we're viewing it now. So, let's go to 90 degrees. Yep, so we're about 90 degrees there. And then I'm going to go backwards. And then try and line up with this gold deposit here. pretty close to the other ship too. Wow, that GPS marker was way off, wasn't it? Alright, so... That's kind of 90 degrees. Alright, let's, um, let's just drill towards it, I guess, and see what happens. Well, it looks like we have absolute success. So I've, yeah, pretty much come down exactly on top of the gold deposit, which is nice. And it didn't actually take me too long to drill down here either. I would like to get out of this view though. How do I get out of this camera view? Yeah, so the hole is pretty deep. Um, okay. I don't know if I really want to go back to base and get more fuel. I think I should be okay with what I've got, but I guess... Yeah, I'm going to risk it. We'll see what happens. Okay, so the mining ship has worked out pretty well. I've managed to gain quite a bit of gold. Um, yeah, I think I've got at least, I don't know, um, yeah, heaps. And the, yeah, the, uh, what, is, what are they called? The ejectors work really well as well. But we are getting quite low on fuel, so I think I'm going to head back just in case. So let me try and kind of get this thing to go vertical again now the um, yeah the gyroscopes are kind of struggling a little bit here so maybe I can put those on the hot bar as well all right that should be good enough all right, let's see if I can change the view here oh we are running into that wait what's going on here why is it am I stuck on something yeah, I think I was. Yeah, I was stuck on something. All right, let's try and level out again. All right, there we go. I think we're good to go now. All right, so I'm going to head back. I'm going to fuel up because I only really had 70% fuel once I got down to the ore deposit itself. So, yeah, it really wasn't... It did work out really well, but I think what I'm going to have to do in future is... 
use the fuel to get down to the deposit and then go back refuel and then mine because the mining itself takes a long time as well so I'm just trying not to go too fast here because the last thing I want to do is destroy this thing just after I've built it and oh I should probably create a blueprint for this thing uh, given the fact that I like to crash things all right let's see how easy this thing is to dock I don't think it's going to be that easy and see look look how much fuel I've got left I am so glad that I yeah stopped mining when I did and um, decided to yeah basically come back and dock up and refuel um, I might actually put some ion thrusters on this thing just so that it doesn't use so much fuel all right I need to tilt it although yeah I might have to strengthen up the gyroscopes as well so maybe I will need eight I thought I didn't but yeah I guess I'm mistaken Let's, this thing is really hard to drive so maybe I should have made the cockpit on the top or like the other orientation I was thinking about whoop we crashed let's try and go back a bit level out I need to tilt it although I need to kind of move it though because the gyroscopes aren't working okay let's go up Wow, this thing is so tricky to drive. Okay, now we should be able to connect. Okay, we're connected. Nice. All right, let's see how much gold we got on our very first trip with this new miner. I am very curious. All right, so we got 170,000 there and about 20,000 here in these two refineries. So what's that, like 180,000 gold? Man, that's fantastic. The last time I went mining for gold, I think I got about 80,000 and that was able to get me one jump drive. So I've, and that took me forever to do. I did that in about 20 minutes and the last time I mined 80,000, that took me over an hour, maybe even like two hours. So yeah, that thing works absolutely fantastically. If that is even a word, I guess it is. Well, it is now. Alright guys, well, I'm pretty much going to end the episode there. Um, yeah, mission accomplished. I think the mining ship was very successful. The only thing I noticed that I did wrong was I used... Um, yeah, I did not turn these thrusters here off. So when I was reversing out of that tunnel, these thrusters were slowing me down and wasting heaps of fuel. So yeah, I definitely need to go ahead and turn those off and in fact, I am going to do that right now. So I believe that is those thrusters there. Um, I don't think it turned any thrusters off on this larger ship here, but nah. So yeah, that worked out quite well. Um, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Um, yeah, I, I really love how this thing is performing. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys.